Dr. Gold um, from Hampton uh, in uh, Connecticut, and Dr. Gold is an ophthalmologist that basically, I guess, is an MD who deals with the eyes, who does surgery and stuff like that, versus an optometrist um, who is more like in the classes. However, uh, Dr. Gold, why don't you explain us a little bit to us layman's where the difference lays in an ophthalmologist versus an optometrist? Okay, the most important difference is that ophthalmologists are medical doctors who have gone through a complete course of medical training, including an internship and then a three-year residency in ophthalmology. During the medical school and internship, we get a full exposure to everything about human medicine from stem to stern. And then we spend three or four or even five more years training specifically in medical and surgical diseases of the eye. So you're well trained. Um, now what are the, some of the works which an ophthalmologist can do and an optometrist cannot do and what are some of the works where you guys overlap, both of you are doing it? Well in terms of optics and eyeglass prescriptions and contact lens prescriptions there's significant overlap between the two professions. In terms of diagnosis and treatment, medical treatment of eye disease there is also some overlap, although ophthalmologists are better prepared because of their background in full range of human medicine to treat eye disease. In terms of surgery, uh, ophthalmologists have the exclusive training to do surgery. Optometrists do not. I see. So basically, an ophthalmologist, uh, because he has a medical training, he obviously knows a little bit more or a lot more, I suppose, about the anatomy of the body, and so he exactly. can connect. He can connect the dots more easy, more faster, and he can uh, perhaps, uh, you know, find hidden factors which might potentially escape the optometrist since he's looking at the eye only. Not that that's not important, and in many cases it's okay and it's enough, but uh, if there are other things, I don't know, maybe diabetes, all kinds of things, and I know optom optometrists, uh, you know, detect things like that too in their tests, but a, a doctor is just a little more entombed with the whole body. Is, is that what you're saying? Yes, absolutely, just based on our experience. Right, right. So as more as you know about a subject, the way I look at it is, you know, like if you give a carpenter something to fix, he'll fix it with a nail and a hammer. If you give it to a guy who is a, a, a metal guy and knows how to weld and, and whatever, he'll fix it somehow with welding and with a metal rod or, or whatever. Um, so if you give it to an ophthalmologist, uh, since he knows everything, he knows the glasses, he knows the lenses, he knows the surgery, he will use everything in his toolbox and really give what is at that moment the best. He doesn't go and have to have the attitude of wait and see. Uh, he, he kind of is right there and then and can make a better strategic planning. Is, is that, would that be a good um, summary? Yes, I think that's a great summary. Okay. Well, wonderful. Thanks for letting us um, know. We'll talk more about some specific um, uh, illnesses, be it uh, cataracts, be it nearsighted, farsighted, uh, be you know, all, all those type of stuff. Thank you very much. You're welcome.